guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another Thief 17 Ultimate Team video. And today, I'm going to bring you guys another trading method. And the method I'm going to be showing you in this video is absolutely ridiculous. It can make you around 50 to 100,000 coins every single hour, and you guys can easily make more. You can easily make upwards of 200,000 coins an hour if you have good internet, if you get lucky, or if you're really, really good at sniping. Because this is going to be a sniping filter, and it is going to work very well throughout the next week or so. Because you are going to be trading with the foot birthday cards and the current informs in the current team of the week. And so many of these are getting packed right now especially the informs with all of the guaranteed inform packs so many are getting listed up on the market and there's so many bargains that you guys can snipe and you can also get these cards on bids so i'm going to be showing you guys not only the sniping aspect of these cards but also how you can get them on bid as well i'll be showing you the best players to trade with i'll be showing you some examples as well uh, people sent me some of their best snipes over on twitter and people were making i think someone made 150,000 coins on one card but people were making so many coins over on twitter as well using this method so i hope you guys do enjoy leave a like if you do want to see more trading content on my channel if you do want to see another trading video for foot birthday maybe on the best investments from the current team of the week anything like that then leave a comment down below letting me know and leave a like on the video as well that'll be very much appreciated but without further ado let's go on into the video so as i said you guys are going to be trading with foot birthday cards and the informs in the current team of the week now the reason this method works so well is because so many cards are being listed up on the market and this works best around about 6 7 and 8 p.m uk time so anytime really in the evening after 6 p.m is great because that's when lightning rounds come out and that's when so many of these cards are going to be packed and you guys basically just want to choose a player to snipe and you guys can try and snipe them or you can choose a player to bid on and you guys can basically just go through all these different cards and find whichever one you get the most deals with and whichever one works the best for you now you can obviously snipe any card that you want right here and people have been getting some great deals on pretty much all of them but there are some certain ones that i'd recommend going with just because they're a bit cheaper and you guys can get these cards a bit easier if you have less coins because i'd say you need about fifty thousand coins to really do this method effectively that's probably the minimum you need i mean over 100k and you're looking good you can get loads of cards very very easily the more coins you have the better but i'd recommend if you don't have 50k go and check out the video i'll leave an annotation in the top right corner of this video right here to it and if you go and check that video it basically shows you how to get free coins on FIFA 17 using the sbc trick which quite a few of you guys may not know about if you do want some free coins then go and check that video out and it will basically explain how you guys can get some free coins pretty quickly you should get 50k or so within about an hour or so very very easily probably even less and then you guys are going to be able to come and do this method so obviously i'd say the best cards to go with right here you can go with anyone as said but the best ones, I think Abarbo is a really good one. He's currently around 30,000 coins on the Xbox One console. His price really does vary, though. Sometimes it's going to be about 35k, sometimes out 25k, depends which packs are out. Taiwo is also a great one. He is the cheapest card, I do believe. Uh, it's bet between him and Sirigu, but he's around 20,000 coins. He's a great one to go with as well. You've also got Adrian Ramos. He's a great player to trade with, in my opinion. Very, very cheap one there. You've got Darren Bent. He's a decent one as well. S Wine's a decent, more expensive one. Agbon Lahore's good. And then you've got Sirigu from this kind of main team that's good as well. They're the ones I'd go with. You also have Ashley Cole. He's a decent one to go with. And Wellerton as well. I mean, you can go with anyone, as, as I said. But those are the best, in my opinion, to start with because they're cheaper. A lot more get packed and a lot more will be listed up on the market. So you'll have more deals coming up and you can pick up more of them. But you can obviously go with anyone and just show you guys, for example, uh, a player that someone's made a lot of coins from. Right here, you guys can see David Villa is uh, right here, 89 rated. Did we check his price right now? He's going for around 330,000 coins. And one of my subscribers sent me a picture on Twitter where he got him for, I believe it was 173,000 coins. He managed to snipe him for that. You guys can see a picture on screen right now. And he sold him for around 330k. And he made himself 150,000 coins profit after the ATAX, which is one of the best deals I've seen on this game. That is a ridiculous amount of profit. And it's just, just going to show how effective this method can work. So you guys can see right here, there's lots, there's lots of different players you can snipe with. I'm going to try and snipe a few of them. My internet is very slow right now, though, because I'm actually on holiday in France. You will see that in a minute, just how slow it is. Hope I can get a few deals, or at least show you guys that players do come up on the market. But if you do want to see a video with loads of examples of how effectively this method works, I'll leave a link down below in the description to Ellie 96 zs video, which he has done on this method right here. And he's managed to get some very good snipes in that video. I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to be able to get too many in this video because of my internet. You will see that, though, in just a minute, just how slow it is. But to hopefully we can get a few. If you do want to go and see lots of examples, check that video out. Let's head over to the transfer market. And I'm going to try and pick up a few of these deals both on bid and on buy now with sniping. And then I'll also show you guys the best informs that you can do pretty much the same thing with getting them on bid or buy now. So let's head over to the transfer market. Once you've picked a player to trade with, you're going to want to look them up on the market. So I'm going to start off with Foot Birthday Abarbo. And you guys can see he's going for around 28,000 coins. There's a few lists up just a little bit cheaper. But I know if I can pick him up, I can sell him for around 28k. So what you normally want to 
to do is try and get these guys about 5,000 coins cheaper than what they're selling for. If they're a little bit cheaper, someone like Taiwo or Barbo, maybe go for three or 4,000 coins cheaper. But if it's someone a bit more expensive, maybe like S Vine, who goes for about 60k, maybe try and get him for anything under about 55,000 coins. But since it's a Barbo and he goes for around 28k, I'm going to try and get him for under 24,000 coins because that means I'm going to be able to make myself around 3,000 coins after tax on anyone that I pick up. Even if I get them for 24k, I'm going to be able to make around 3,000 coins and obviously the cheaper I get them, the more profit I'm going to be able to make. So I can try and snipe these guys. My internet is extremely slow. You guys can see right here, each time I search, it takes like two seconds or so with, with the delay right here, which makes it really, really hard to kind of get into a rhythm with sniping them. But I'm going to try my best to just kind of see if we get any players coming up. But you guys can see it's very, very slow right now, making it virtually impossible. But I'm going to try my best. If any cars come up, you guys will see. And I'm also going to try and get a few on bid. So, yeah, I'm going to be back when, hopefully, a player comes up. And hopefully, we're going to be able to pick him up. Although, I do highly doubt it with my internet. We've just missed out on a victory of Barber right here for 22,500 coins. And I'd say this is about a minute or so after I started sniping. And, uh, yeah, I managed to get on him quite quickly. But still, because my internet's slow, I missed out on him. But someone did get him pretty fast right here. 22,500 coins. That would have been 5k profit or so after the attacks. Which would have been very, very good. Sadly, we did miss out on him. But... I mean, that only took about a minute or so to come up, and that would have been about 5k profit. And you get these cards very, very cheaply sometimes. I've seen cards like Kababa come up for about 15k or so. And if you do go and check out Ellie96C's video, he shows a lot of examples, not only of players he's picked up, but also players he's missed out on that have been very cheap. So if you do want lots of examples of how well this works, go and check that video out. But uh, if you just want to kind of have the methods explained, then stay on this one right here. But you guys can see a Barbo, 22,500 coins. Missed out on him. I'm going to try and see if one more player comes up. If I can get him, then that would be great. If not, I'm going to move on to another player. Just show you guys plenty of examples and show you that all of these different filters do work. And you can make lots of coins from them. And then I'm going to try and bid on a few of these cards. And then show you some informed sniping and trading as well. And Obarbo just came up for 17,500 coins, guys. That is ridiculous. You guys can see, I was trying the transfer target sniping filter, where you just press Y and B on Xbox. It's a little bit quicker uh, when you don't have as fast internet. But you guys can see, 27,000 coins for these two here, and then 17,500k for this Obarbo. That is ridiculously cheap. That would have been 10,000 coins profit or so. And that's two or three minutes after that last deal came up. So if I'd have picked up these two deals, that would have been 15,000 coins in about five minutes or so so you guys can easily see how many coins you can actually make from this filter it is absolutely crazy but uh so far i've not managed to get any deals but it's only taken like probably five minutes for two deals to come up so i'm gonna try see if one more player comes up and uh, if we can get one that would be great if not though i'll try and get in a bubble on bid and then I'll move on and show you guys a few other examples with a few other players. And hopefully we can get a few deals and show you guys just how effectively this method does work. So I've decided to move on to try and get a few deals on bid just because it's really hard to snipe these cards. Because as I said, my internet is very, very slow as you guys saw. I'm on holiday in France but you guys can see Victor Barbo. we saw he was going for around 28,000 coins and that means you can try and get him I'd say around 4k cheaper as I said early on if you're trying to get someone a bit cheaper like Taiwo maybe go about 3k cheaper if it's someone more expensive like S Vine, maybe 5 or 6k cheaper but you guys can see Victor Barbo. we're going to look up his price now and we're going to see if we can get any deals right now on bid and there are loads and loads of cars being listed up on the market right now and lots of them you guys can get some good deals on. So all you need to do is just go and bid on these cards. Don't go and put loads of bids on them because their prices do fluctuate quite a bit. He could be about 22k or so. As you saw the price of that one there, he could be 22k tomorrow. So you don't want to go and bid on like five or six of these, maybe only one or two, uh, and you should be good. So I'm going to bid, let's say, 22,000 coins. If I can get him for that, that's going to be 6,000 coins profit after tax. So I'm going to bid on three of these. I'm going to put bids on all of these ones there. I'm going to go for 22k. If I can get him for anything under 24,000 coins, though, I'll be happy with that. And you get some really, really good deals with these. But we're, going to, we're going to put bids on all of those cards there. And you basically just ne then need to monitor them, make sure that you can get them for the price you want. So I'm not going to go over 24k, but if I can get them for 24,000 coins or less, that should be good. So now let's go and try and do exactly the same with someone like Taiwo. So obviously you can snipe Taiwo as well, but sniping, although it does work very, very well for the majority of you guys, I mean pretty much anyone watching this video, unless you have really, really bad internet like me because I'm in my house kind of in the middle of nowhere in France. Uh, could that be a deal actually? Taiwo for 20k? Does he sell for anything over that? I think. No, he goes for like 22k. That is not a deal there on Taiwo, but um, I think for any, any of you who just don't have really bad internet, you should be fine when it comes to sniping. And that's what I'd recommend you doing, but if you don't particularly like sniping, then bidding is also a great option. So, 
Taiwo is currently going for around 21,000 coins. I'd say you could snipe him for under about 19 or 18,000 coins and you should be able to make some good coins because he's very cheap. A lot of people list him up very, very cheaply um, because he's one of the cheaper um, cards right now, one of the cheaper foot birthday cards available. So you could try and snipe him for, I'd say, under about 19, maybe 18,000 coins or you can try and get him on bid for exactly the same. So you just want to put the maximum price to what you would want to try and snipe them at. So I'd say around 18,000 coins should be good. And there are quite a few cards there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go through right now and just put an 18k bid on this card right here. If I can get it for 18,000 coins, that's gonna be about two or three thousand coins profit easily after the attack. So I can do exactly the same with this one right here. I'll go for 18,000 on him. And you see, there are loads and loads of players I can go through and bid on. And loads and loads of these will be listed up on the market right now. It's around 4 p.m. when I'm actually recording this video. Um, UK time, I think it's five five o'clock French time. So yeah, if I get these cards right now. For 18k and I can sell them on pretty easily it should be good but his price could drop and there will be a lot more lists up on the market later on so around 7 or 8 p.m a lot more of these will be getting packed and there'll be more on the market so this does work best around those times there and also more people are going to be opening packs rather than going and buying these guys during those times too so that's a really good time to pick them up but so you guys can go and get these cards on bid or on buy now so you've seen with Taiwo, that's a good one you then want to kind of monitor these players prices so I'm going to go and bid on one final player and that's going to be Darren Bent from uh, the championship right now. So we find Darren Bent, who has actually got a decent card. Really, really big upgrade from his normal kind of silver card. But you want to basically just find, again, the lowest by now. Find what this card is selling for. So right now he's going for a roundabout, if I can actually work it out. I think he's going for around 40,000 coins. Uh, there, there you go. 39k is the cheapest by now. I'm going to put a picture on screen right now of a deal that le 96 z picked up. I saw it on Twitter just before recording this video. He got for under 20,000 coins, and that's like 20,000 coins profit just on that one card there. So again, that's another example. Go and check out his video, though, if you don't want to see more examples. But you guys can see right now, he's going for around 39k or so. So you can try and get these. I'd say snipe them under 35k, and you'd be good if you can get anyone under 35k. You'd be good there. Uh, but then, obviously, you do exactly the same with the bidding. So I'm going to go and try and get one of these cards under 35k on bid and uh, see what we can do there. So a lot of these cards kind of go under the radar as well, especially people like Darren Bent because he plays in the championship. He's got low, low work rates. Not many people are going to be trading with a card like this, maybe in comparison to someone like Svine who plays in the Bundesliga. So if you go with someone like this, uh, lots of people aren't really going to kind of have too much competition with you. And often you're not really going to be bidding against too many people. So I'm going to put a 30k bid on this one here. I put another bid on the last one. And if we can get these cards, hopefully we can make some good profit. My transfer targets is actually full right now with all these bids. So... I'm going to head over to the transfer targets, monitor these cards, and see if we can pick any up on bid. So you want to go over to your transfer targets. This is where you can really just kind of keep an eye on all of the players you are bidding on. And you always want to kind of keep a maximum price that you want to bid. Kind of just keep it in mind so that you know not really to go over that so you don't overspend and so you can still make profit. So Darren Bent, I don't want to spend over 35k on him. Anything under that, and I'll be happy. Ababo, anything under 24,000 coins, I'll be good with that. And then Taiwo, anything under about 19k, I'll be good with that. So you don't want to kind of overpay on these guys especially since their prices can fluctuate and you don't want to be caught out so the main things don't go and bid on too many of these cards i'd keep it a maximum of three on each card you're bidding on no matter how many coins you have you don't want to spend too many on these as their prices can fluctuate you want to sell the cards quickly once you've picked them up you want to keep an eye on their prices and just kind of monitor them right here and always have a price that you want to pay in mind so you don't overpay too much on these cards. So always kind of have those different things in mind there and it just makes this work a lot better. And all you guys then need to do is just wait, see if you can get some of the deals. So I'm going to be back in like 10 minutes or so and hopefully get some of these cards on bid. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys the best informs to snipe with and how you really want to trade with those as well. So looking at the current team of the week, there are loads and loads of different players obviously that you can snipe right here. And what I'd recommend doing is trying to get anyone who goes for over about 15,000 coins or so. Anyone who goes for like 12k or so, you're not really going to be making too many coins on them, so I wouldn't recommend that. But if you can get anyone who goes for about 15k or more, it should be good. And I'd say a really good kind of price is between about 30 and 15,000 coins. Anything more than that, and they're not going to be listed up on the market too much, as they're going to be quite a rare player, and they're not going to be getting packed as much. But if you go with someone, for example, Subasic, she's around 20,000 coins, he is perfect. Sherla is a great one, I've seen a lot of deals coming up on Sherla as well. And uh, I've not really spent too much time trying to snipe him, but you can get him. He's about 25k, and uh, also Keen's a decent one, slightly cheaper, one of the one of the cheap ones right here. But you can get him for about 18k or so. I think that is his lowest by now. So he's also a decent one to go with. Uh, Forsberg's decent too, and uh, then you've got a few players down here as well. Pulisic and Carlos Vea are good ones. The other ones are pretty pretty cheap. I wouldn't really recommend going with them, but Carlos Vea 
Pulisic, Keane, Subasic, Schürrle and Forsberg are the best ones. Piszczek's a decent one as well. Less will be listed up, but you can still get some good deals on him. Mercado, he's a bit too cheap as well. Thiago and Verratti, you can get a few deals on them, but they're just a little bit more expensive. So you could make more profit, but less will be listed on the market. But the reason this works so, so well is because with the guaranteed Team of the Week packs right now, so many people are packing these cards, and they're getting packed so, so many times by so many people. So many people opening those packs is ridiculous. How many get listed up on the market? And that's why you get loads and loads of deals because not everyone is going to know what these cards sell for. Not everyone is going to bother checking the prices. So it just takes one in a hundred people to list the card up for a little bit cheaper. And you're going to be getting cards coming up like literally every single minute just because so many people are opening these. So that's why it works so well. So let's go and try and get a few deals both on bid and also on by now. So the first player I'm going to trade with right here is Andre Schurler. And you guys can see that he's going for around 29,000 coins as low as by now. So I'd say if I'm getting for under 25,000 coins, I should be able to make some good profit on him. Maybe a little bit more, maybe about 26k or so. It's up to you really. I'd say 25k is a good price. And if I can get him anything under that, that's going to be great profit. I can get him on bid all by now. Lots of different options. He'll be getting packs a lot. So he's a great player to trade with. So let's try and get a few deals on him. I'm bidding on Inform Schurler for around 24 or 25,000 coins. You guys saw he goes for about 29k at the moment. And if I can get him for anything under 25k, that's going to be at least three or 4,000 coins profit. So I'm bidding 24k or so on most of these cards here. I wouldn't recommend going crazy on these cards, bidding on like 10 or 20 of them maybe go with about five or six you can go with more i'd say than with the foot birthday cards because their prices don't fluctuate as much but they do still change a bit depending what packs are being open and what time it is uh, later on in the day these cards will be a bit cheaper around 8 p.m 7 p.m uk time but i'd recommend going and bidding on these cards but to get maybe five or six of them you should be good but with the bidding with both foot birthday cards and informs it's a great thing to do in the background so you go and bid on a load of cards and then you snipe you're going to make more coins from sniping you just do because you're going to be able to make more coins on the majority of players that come up because you can get really good deals and make a load of coins on them and you're just not going to get cards that cheaply in comparison on bid. But it's a great thing to kind of combine with sniping because you can get the cards on bid. You're only going to get like 1 in 10 players or so and you may only make like 5k or so on that one card. But still, that's better than nothing and you have that in the background whilst you're sniping and you're just going to be able to make more coins. So it's a great thing to do, especially though right now you are going to have a lot of competition so don't expect to get that many cards on bid at all but hopefully we can get a few of them we've bid on those cards there obviously you can snipe shadow as well i've already shown you sniping though and with my internet right now it's very very slow but obviously you can get cards by sniping it's very very easy uh, if you have decent internet as long as it's not terrible like mine you should be able to get some good deals and it works very very well with sniping around 6 or 7 p.m because that's when a lot of people get home from school or get home from work and they're going to be opening packs they're going to be completing the team of the week guarantee spc and so many of these cards will be listed up on the market it's just crazy how many deals you can get so Sherla's a good one. Let's go and see Keen as well. Let's see what he's selling for. Put a few bids on him, and then hopefully we're going to be able to go and see how many cards we've been able to pick up with the other filter that I was showing you guys, which is obviously getting those uh, foot birthday cards as well. So we find what Michael Keen's actually selling for as a lowest by now. Um, I believe it's around 18k. His price may have changed there. It's, it's about 17k right now, and uh, he's got a few of the 81 card, but the 84 80 card is the cheapest right now on the market. So what I'd recommend doing is going to about 15k if you want to try and snipe these guards, try and get them 15k or so. I think with Keane, you'll have so many players coming up because he's quite a, quite a well, he's not a low-rated player, he's 84-rated, but he's quite a packable player. His pack weight is very, very high. A lot of him will be packed, so you can get a lot of good deals on Keane. If you get him for 15k or so, I think you can get a lot of great deals there and make some great profit. But we're going to be bidding on them because, obviously, I mean, I don't really need to show you guys proof with sniping because it just obviously works like so many cards that are going to be listed up but with bidding i'm just going to show you guys the prices you can go with so i'd recommend going through and bidding 15k on basically just a load of these cards so i'll go with five see what we can pick up and as you see there are loads and loads of these keen cards on the market so as I said, you, you're going to be getting like 1 in 10 deals you, you bid on, so I wouldn't expect to get that many. But it's always good to have on kind of in the background as you're sniping. Sniping is what you'll make the most coins from. I'm not showing you a huge amount of sniping in this video because I can't snipe with my internet right now. You can go and check out le 96 z's video, as I've said multiple times. So link down below and he will show you a lot of examples. Um, but uh, you guys can see right here, we bid on some of those cards. So let's head over to the transfer targets and just kind of monitor the prices and see how many cards we're going to be able to get. So looking at these players so far, we've been outbid on the majority majority of the foot birthday cards and you would expect that just because I didn't bid on too many of them and loads and loads of people are using the bidding method right now I think sniping is the way to go with the foot birthday cards you can get more informs I'd say just because more people are focused on getting 
these cards right here, the foot birthday cards on bid. But I mean, the prices people are paying on bid is actually higher than by now. I mean, he's going for like 40k bent, and people are paying 41k for him, 39k for him. And then Ababo was going for 27k, and people paid over that or around that for these ones. So you do get outbid on a lot of these cards, but it's just something good to have in the background. Bid on some of them and try and snipe them at the same time. With these informs along here, uh, that guy there, he's bidding too much on Sherla because he goes for like 29k, so that's not worth it there. Although I have been outbid on every single other Sherla, I've managed to pick up one for 25,000 coins. It slipped under the radar. No one noticed this card, which is pretty lucky, but 25,000 coins, he goes for 29k. I'm going to list that one up on the market, and that's going to be a small amount of profit. I'm making about four or 5,000 coins, actually, with EA tax. It's about 3,000 coins, I believe. So 3,000 coins profit, that is not bad at all. I'll list that for 29k. And that's just a deal you can have. You can get some of those deals in the background by bidding on them. It's just going on whilst you're sniping. You, you spam some bids, go and snipe, and then come back. See if you've got any, any of the cards. It is very, very easy. So we're going to list that card up right now on the market. Hopefully, he will sell on. He should sell on pretty fast, making me a nice amount of coins there. And as I said, just bid on a load of cards. Go and try and snipe some in the meantime. And then see if you've got, got any on bid. And uh, obviously, in the meantime, you'll be getting lots of deals on the uh, sniping with buy nows and you can make some good profit there so hopefully that card will sell on i'll put a quick picture on screen as soon as it does sell on but i'll just end off the video right now and uh, yeah i mean sorry i've not shown too many examples in this video it's just because it's impossible to snipe players with my internet right now but as i keep stressing in this video go and check out le960's video as he shows so many different examples of how effectively this method does work um but so yeah hopefully this video has helped you guys out sorry about not having too many examples but hope you guys still kind of understand the method and can make some good coins on it but so yeah yeah, really hope you guys did enjoy leave a like if you did subscribe if you are new around here let me know in the comments down below what type of videos you do want to see for foot birthday in the future and i'll see you guys in the next video take care